Hi guys, I'm Danica Ferranti from MyBeautyScraps.com. This is part two of my on stage extravaganza <laughs> video. Um, I went to on stage for April 2017 in Savannah, Georgia, and it was a blast. In my last video, I told you all about it even more than you probably wanted to know. Um, and I talked for so long, I thought I better make a second video where I show you all of my swap cards. The swapping is one of my favorite parts. I can't even pick a favorite because it's all so much fun. Um, that's not true. My absolute favorite is meeting all of the other demonstrators and talking with everybody. Um, I was definitely talking up a storm that weekend. <laughs> I had a lot of fun and met some really awesome people. Um, that's my favorite, but I think everything else is a close, uh, close second, a tie for second. Um, but for swaps, this was my swap card. Um, I love this stamp set, Remarkable You. And luckily this one's not retiring. It's going to be in the new catalog. It's just awesome for so many different techniques. I did some water coloring with Flirty Flamingo. If you guys want, I will make a video tutorial about how I made this card. Um, I made so many of them. <laughs> I got really good at it. Um, I probably made about 50 of them, I think. Um, but I didn't quite swap them all out. So I, I probably have at least 40 different cards to show you today. Um, when I go to on stage, I take my designer tin of cards with me because it's super sturdy and then none of the cards inside can get hurt while it's rattling around in my bag. Um, and then when I leave, it's filled with all different cards. Um, really, really fun way to get different ideas and to meet different um, demonstrators. You might be surprised, but I can be a little shy, so I'm not just gonna go up to somebody probably and start talking to them. Um, but when you're walking around the room with a handful of cards, you're talking to people and swapping cards and it's, it's a ton of fun. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is flip the camera around so you can get a better look um, with some better lighting at all of these different cards. And if you want a tutorial for this one, um, just leave me a comment down below. I'd be happy to do it. All right, let me flip the camera around and I'll be right back. All right, so before we take a look at all these swap cards, I just wanted to give you um, a more up close look from this angle <laughs> at the cute gift that I got for my upline. Um, Brandy Cox made this adorable little gift box. I just Oh, I admire her fussy cutting every time I see it. <laughs> and that little rhinestone is so cute. Those are on the retiring list. I'm going to miss them so much. Um, but it has a little belly band that slides off so you can open up the box, which she also made and stamped. It's gorgeous. She even stamped the tissue paper inside to match the box. And then there's a little... Um, <laughs> she admitted she didn't make the soap, but it's a piece of handmade soap inside that just smells delicious. I've been waiting <laughs> to use it, um, but I wanted to make sure I showed it to you guys first in all its glory. Look, even the inside of the box is stamped. It's so cute. This would make such a fantastic little host gift or teacher gift. Really, really sweet. And, um, and she said it was easy to do, so I'm going to try my hand at it. If you guys want to see a tutorial, if I figure it out, let me know, <laughs> and, I'll, and I'll share it with you guys. Um, she also gave me a bone folder. Um, so we sell these um, bone folders. You can get them in um, my online Stampin' Up! store, but um, she had it personalized. It says uh, Blooms and Butterflies on it, and that's our, our team name. Um, and I also um, got to meet Lisa Curcio, who was just awesome. I love watching her videos, and she made these little um, goodie bags for the little brunch that we had together the day before on stage. Um, and I just love the cupcakes and carousel set she used um, to stamp this tag. That's on the retiring list. <laughs> and then she used the paper um, from that suite also to cover a chocolate bar, which I'm surprised made it home on my long drive home from Savannah. Um, and she also used that paper inside this pen. So I thought that was a really fun idea and a really sweet little gift from her. She was 
just amazing. Let me move these out of the way. And we did a little team swap um, at our brunch the day before the onstage this event. was my swap card from the Remarkable You stamp set. It was really fun and this is really easy to make. Um, the watercoloring was the hardest part, <laughs> but that's um, still super easy and I just love it. I just love to stamp a bunch of images and I'll watercolor them while uh, watching TV. <laughs> um, and that's using the Flirty Flamingo, which is a really one of becoming one of my favorite colors. Luckily, we still have a year <laughs> left with that in color. Um, and these were the swaps um, from our team swap. And then I still have a bunch more to show you from on stage. So look how cute this is, this little angel. And this was made by Charlene um, from Stampin' with Charlene. She was so fun and she got to be one of the um, display stampers at on stage so she got to make lots of fun and adorable projects with some of the new goodies that are coming out in the new annual catalog but I thought that was such a sweet idea the name of that set is escaping me um, but I believe that's also on the retiring list as are those doilies and this paper eek <laughs> um this one however will be in the new catalog this one's not retiring everyone loves this stamp set I think because it's so fun to color and um, this was made by Lisa Curcio from uh, Lisa's stamp studio I love those little pearls on the top now those pearls are retiring and um, this set is retiring too I love that designer series paper I'm gonna not know how to say their last name but this is made by Rod and Marion you can read it <laughs> And this one, oh, that glimmer paper. Sorry, it's in the cellophane, so you can't see its true um, amazingness. Um, but if you've used our glimmer paper before, you know. And um, I love this embossing folder, too. This was made by Yolanda. She was lots of fun. Oh, meeting everybody was really just the best part. Um, this one I'm going to have to open up because this is a really cool one. Oh, it's, good. it's not even adhered yet. And I left the band inside. Oh boy. Bloopers. <laughs> so this card has the belly band on it. And then it's a gatefold. And I just broke it. There we go. But that's a die cut from the copper foil paper, which is gorgeous with one of those retiring pearls on it. Makes it very elegant. Very fancy card. I don't know what it says inside, but this would be gorgeous for like a wedding or a shower or something. Oh, there's that lady again. <laughs> very, very sweet. And I love the color combination. I'm a mint macaron girl. I'm going to miss that color so much. Oh, and this one's really fun too with that re retiring doily. So this doily was embossed with black embossing powder. Can you see how cool that is? There's so much you can do with those doilies. And this was made by Carolyn. And then this one, oh, with that sweet jar. Can you tell? It took me a minute because I was like, oh, I love the Jar of Love set. Oh my goodness, that's the balloon. That's the um, die cut balloon from the, again, I can't remember it right now. Oof. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are screaming it out at me as you're watching it. Um, but that's from the um, hot air balloon set. So that's the die cut um, from the balloon. And it's used over the jar. I thought that was such a clever idea. And this was from Debbie, who was so much fun, too. Um, she's on my team. It was really fun. I really hadn't met anyone from my team. That's the um, wonder of uh, the internet <laughs> and YouTube. You can make friends from all over the place and never actually meet them in person. So it was really awesome to meet everyone at on stage. All right, I think I'm organized. So <laughs> before I show you the cards, let me show you the um, 3D items because I'm always so impressed by 3D items. 
I am such a two-dimensional crafter. <laughs> Um, but this was a really fun little treat pouch, and this is using the Stitch Shapes Framelits and some of the enamel dots there, and inside is chocolate. I don't want to um, take off that pretty ribbon at the top, but that's how you're supposed to open it. All right, I'll do it. Isn't that cool? Oops. And inside, tons of chocolate. These would be so cute to make for little Easter treats or, or treats for your child's friends at school. Um, really cute way to use the designer series paper. Now I can eat that chocolate now that I showed you guys. <laughs> and I got two other 3D items. Look how cute this is. So this is a little charm to put on your scissors so you know which one is yours when you're crafting with friends. Um, this was made by Patty Sharkey. It's so cute. It's She must have used the Celebration Glimmer paper that sold out so quickly. <laughs> and then it says Stampin' Up! on it. So cute. And then look at this sweet little gift. Oh my goodness. Um, oh no, and it doesn't say their name on it. Oh, sad times, because I want to give them credit because it's adorable. That little banner, and I love these botan botanical um, builder framelits. I use these guys all the time. And then this little guy inside that looks like a lipstick is actually a pen. Isn't that so cool? I love this. I'm going to have to figure out how to make this little box. It's really, really cute. All right, now for the cards. You guys are going to have to let me know which ones are your favorites and if um, you want to know how to make any of them or want to see a tutorial, if I have the stamp set, I'd be happy to do that for you. This one's really fun using the copper embossing powder. This was made by Jennifer King. You guys know I love Dragonfly Dreams, and this is on um, the embossed... Um, hexagon embossing folder. This is by Kathy Wiley. And that um, little bumblebee is die cut and stamped. Really, really fun. This one uses the Timeless Texture stamp set, I believe. Really like this color combination. It's by Stasia Todd. Really, really fun. I love those little like coffee ring sort of stamps. Oh, and here's another Dragonfly Dreams. This is so pretty. I think this is with Wink of Stella. Can you see that glitter? And it uses both of the Dragonfly die cuts and the brick embossing folder. Very cool. This, one's, this one is by Judy Hudson. This one is very sweet. I don't know if it says the other part of the... Nope, because oh, they're card fronts. Silly. <laughs> I should have mentioned the swap is for card fronts. <laughs> it's not full cards. Um, but this stamp set has um, a, a second part to it that you can stamp on the inside. I really like that color combination. And I love this stamp set. This is one that I have. And this is by Dawn Walker Randall. There's that lady again. This is very cool. So um, this one uses the masking technique. So um, that circle for the, the moon was masked off and that stamped image of that lady was masked off. And then the whole background was sponged and stamped. Really, really pretty. This one doesn't say who made it. This is a really fun one, a nice one for graduations. Um, a nice masculine card. Oh, this one doesn't say he made it either. Oh, but that's clever. Look at that. So <laughs> I'm glad I flipped it over. So that's a great way um, because normally you wouldn't see the inside. Um, but you can stamp or stamp. You can use your punch on your background cardstock. Um, and then you'll never know unless it's just a card front. <laughs> so they cut out um, the circle for the globe from that back piece of cardstock. Clever, you know, I love a clever way to uh, save on wasted cardstock. This set is one of my favorites um, from last year's catalog. 
no, not last year's, occasions, and it's retiring. Um, I was very excited to use this one for Father's Day, so make sure you get it by the middle of May <laughs> um, before it retires so that you can use this on your Father's Day cards. This one's by Donna Tackett. You just know if a stamp set has a framelit, I'm all in. This is a really pretty uh, monochromatic card with that butterfly. You know I love that butterfly. This is by... Monica Davis. There's that lady again. Then that's using masking again. So she was masked off so that that um, street scene could be stamped right over her. Very cool. This is by Awilda Cruz. I adore this color combination. Black, white, and pink is just so stinking cute. And you know I love the Birthday Adventures set. <laughs> Balloon Adventures, sorry. This one's by um, Donald, D sorry, Dana um, McClelland. I'm going to butcher everybody's names. Hopefully you can just read them when I flip them over. But this is a really fun way to really switch up that stamp set. If you saw my videos for um, my class that we used the Balloon, um, balloon Adventures, I stuck with the Party Animal Suite classic uh bright colors but you can really switch it up by changing your color combinations this one is really fun with those hot air balloons I love those so you remember that um the white die cut I showed you on the jar of love that's the same die cut you can use that in so many fun ways this one's by Donna Chambers And I love these popsicles. I'm very excited. Do you know what's so funny? If I'm being honest, I haven't used this set yet. <laughs> I was so excited to buy it right away. But in the dead of winter, I just can't think about ice cream. I'm in New York. It's cold. Um, this one's by Linda Heller. Um, but now that spring is upon us, despite the penguin scarf that I'm sporting over here. Oh, that's the back side. Where's my penguin scarf? There you go. Isn't that cute? It was a Christmas present. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm extra rambly today. Um, <laughs> but I'm very excited to use this one for spring and summer. And that designer series paper is on the retiring list. And if I recall, it's at like a crazy discount price. So grab that paper while you can. I, I believe the stamp set is carrying over. Um, I don't remember for sure. Um, this is another really fun monochromatic card, and this is using the Designer Series Paper Stacks. So those come um, in in-color combinations and also the um, four basic color family combinations, but all of those paper stacks are retiring. So even um, the colors that are staying, the paper stacks are retiring. I'm sad about them. They're really, really fun, and you get a ton of paper. Um, for a really good value. I think there's 48 sheets in that stack. So this is a really fun one using that. And it also uses the falling petals embossing folder, which is also retiring. Sad times. Oh, I didn't tell you who that's from. Um, Jonella Townsend made this one. Very pretty. And then my last one. I tried to talk quickly, but this video is still going to be like 20 minutes long. Um, but I thought this was a really fun way to use that owl punch, which guys, that's also retiring. The owl punch has been around for so long. I'm so sad. It's a really fun one. Um, and that's a really cute use for it is to make a little Batman sign. That's a really fun, really fun card. And this one. Um, I guess it doesn't say her full, her full name, but she is Michelle's Craft Corner on YouTube, so you can check her out, too. Um, but this one is really, really fun. So many fun cards. I don't know which one I want to case first. I feel like I really have to play with this hot air balloon set. I have to play with the popsicle set. Don't tell anyone, but I don't own that one. <laughs> I know I can't believe it everyone has this one I really need to get it it's on my wish list um, I keep saying I've got to put it on my next order but oh so many fun fun cards oh this swap was just so much fun meeting so many awesome ladies and getting so many awesome um, inspirational ideas it was a blast 
Thank you so much for sticking with me through this long video. I hope you loved seeing all of these card ideas as much as I did. Um, if you have any questions about any of them, um, feel free to contact me. I always put a link in the description box below where you can contact me if you have any questions about anything. I'm always happy to help and happy to hear from you guys. Um, and I think that's it for my onstage adventure. My box of Stampin' Up! goodies from my pre-order from the new catalog should be here any minute now. And I can't wait to film an unboxing video and show you all that good stuff. <laughs> my wish list for the new catalog is so long. <laughs> and if you have a long wish list too, you might want to think about joining my team. Um, because the starter kit is only $99 and you get to choose $125 worth of products to put in it, whatever you want from the new catalog. And you also get free shipping. So it's just an awesome, awesome deal. And then on all of your orders that you place as a demonstrator, you get a discount. So it's win-win. <laughs> if you want to know more about that, you can contact me too. All right, I'm going to stop rambling and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Um, thanks so much again for watching, guys. Um, I really love making these videos so much and it means a lot to me that you guys also enjoy watching them. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.